What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Comics with Bueller. As always, I'm Bueller. It's Friday night. It's the live stream night every Friday at 5.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You're going to find me here. And uh, I didn't come alone again. I have a guest, and I'm pretty excited about this guest because uh, these guys have been doing some really great things. And my guest today is Brian. He is the vice president of Max Pro Supplies. You guys have probably heard me talk about Max Pro Supplies for the last month or so. Um, but Brian, hello. How are you? Hey, Bueller. I'm doing good. How are you tonight? I'm doing great. I'm very excited to have you on here. And Brian, we're just going to cut right to you because we're going to, we want to find out a little bit about Brian, my guest. These people already know about me. Uh, they've been watching me for over a year now. So Brian, tell me a little bit about you. <laughs> well, I've been with uh, Max Pro since 2010. Well, I wasn't Max Pro back then, but uh, with the company that has become Max Pro. Um, and uh, I, I own two shops for 18 years, so I'm a kind of a veteran of the industry and been collecting since I was 12 years old. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. And uh, you were just telling me, and I'm just going to go off a little bit, that artwork right behind you is your artwork, correct? Yeah, I've done some artwork. I've actually been published in some small press books and uh, a horror anthology magazine called uh, Dark Discoveries. I did several pieces in there. Um, so, yeah, I, I do some art a little bit, dabble when I can. <laughs> so you are ingrained in this industry. This is not just uh, some people that want to start a business and uh, jump into something they didn't know. You have a history in the business. You are a shop owner, you were uh, an artist, all sorts of things. You're, you're in the comics. You were just actually telling me about some of the comics you had when you were a kid. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I remember the first comic I bought for myself was uh, X-Men number 175. Um, and then I really got into it when, when I realized that there were G.I. Joe comics out there and uh, Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow and, and all that. Number 27, I think, was the first one where I really hopped on and started getting them every issue sequentially. So, And then I was hooked after that. <laughs> I was doing uh, trade shows, uh, the old Portland Comic Con. I had tables. Nice. I published some books when I was in high school and had a table there and did sketches for people and all kinds of stuff. So, <laughs> you, you know, you say that, and, you know, I used to do that, too, at the Memorial Coliseum. Oh, and, absolutely. Uh, and I, my booth is called uh, Fourth Dimension Comics. I bet you we were at the same place. Probably, yeah. I mean, yeah, it was, it was, uh, it was interesting. <laughs> very cool, very cool. Do you have a favorite GI Joe by chance? A favorite character? Yeah, a favorite character. Well, yeah, Snake Eyes is probably my favorite, and then you know the, the ninjas were always the coolest. But <laughs> yeah, uh, I would have to agree. Snake, he didn't say much. He didn't have to. One of my favorite. Roadblock also, uh, and Gun 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 Ho also a big one. Uh, you yeah. can't go wrong with G.I. Joe. I miss that cartoon very much and the book itself. But we're here to talk about Max Pro Supplies. And uh, I'm very excited to have you here. I'm very excited. I just met you just about a month ago. And uh, I think we hit it off pretty good. And I think we're doing some really good things together. But I want to know a little bit about Max Pro Supplies themselves. So let me ask you a couple questions about the company. Um, when was it formed? We go back to the the origins of the company way back in the late '90s. Um, Steve, our owner, uh, was at a shop. He was a uh, he's comes to the the hobby industry from a different angle. Um, he was a sports card guy, and he was at a shop. And the owner said, "Boy, if it wasn't for supplies, some months I wouldn't make any money." And so Steve's light light bulb came on and said, "Hey, supplies is where it's at." <laughs> <laughs> And so he started uh, doing his little side hustle on supplies, um, and it grew and grew. And then I came on in uh, in 2010, and uh, he was all sports stuff. And we actually played fantasy baseball together uh, online through friends. And uh, I had sold my shop because sold my shops because we were going to have a baby. And I uh, was semi-retired for a while. And I called up Steve and I said, hey, so I'm looking to get into some a new line of work. And I, you know, was asking him some about some of the stuff that he had done in the past. And uh, he says, yeah, you know, I'm looking for somebody to help me grow my hobby supply company. And I said, what? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, you know, I used to have two hobby shops for like 18 years. He's like, no. And I said, well, have you thought about carrying comic supplies, uh, you know, gaming supplies? this and that and the other. And he says, uh, no, not really. We should talk about this. And I, I came down and uh, 
started giving him a list of people to talk to. And he says, you know, I got a better idea. How about you come, come, I'll see you on Monday. <laughs> and the rest is history. <laughs> That's awesome. So uh, Steve, he's the president of Max Pro Supplies. He is the president and owner uh, of Max Pro Supplies. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, he wasn't able to join us tonight. He is going to be making an appearance down the road. I talked to him uh, this week. He's got some other things going on, taking care of the family. Very important. Um, but he will be on the show later down the road, probably with Brian as well, because as you guys can probably tell, Brian has a pretty big knowledge of history of comics, and that's what we're, we talk about all the time. So why wouldn't he be a guest again? So very cool. But uh, real quick, I want to jump into the chat because there's a bunch of people in here, and I just want to say hello to everybody. Um, we have from Heroes to Icons, uh, had the first comment in here. Hello, uh, Flaming Sheila. Hello, Cool and, and Collected. Uh, Chino Comics and more. He just he, Chino is the one who's opening the comic shop in Texas that I was telling you about. They open yep. on Monday, I believe. Uh, Cody Order Evans, hello. Webhead, hello. Uh, Mastodon Comics and Collecting. That's Don. How you doing? And, oh, there's Max Protection. They're in the chat. That's you. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, Wingnut, hello. Uh, comic G Man, Barbarian Kung Fu, John's Comics with Kids. You're familiar with that guy, right? Yeah, yeah, we we had a little <laughs> today. Yeah, yeah, very cool, Mister Girl. How you doing, Perry Comics? Uh, Popcom. So hey, Popcom has a question. We're just gonna jump into this question right now, okay? Uh, he says, "Hey, Max Pro, that would be you, Brian. Uh, will you be restocking your Max Pro boards for current comics?" Yeah. So interesting story. I think we got that in some further down questions about where stuff comes from and everything, but uh, our boards come from Canada and uh, across the country and we're up here in Washington state, obviously. So with the weather being so wonderful lately, you know, bright and sunny, <laughs> no, it's been stuck in Chicago for about three and a half weeks. Um, and we're just waiting for it to get on a rail car and, and get over here so we can get those things sent out to you guys. So, so they are on the way. They're on, they the, way. on the way. <laughs> Very cool. Along oh. with the uh, silver my lights. Oh, They're yeah. We, we got to get to that. We got to get to that. Uh, Perry <laughs> Comics is here as well. DC Chris, hello. And Human X, That's he's also partners with uh, Chino Comics and more. That They're doing the comic shop. Uh, of course, I got Comic Tom 101. He's in here. You know, you know Comic Tom. You've talked to him a little bit. Yeah, um, yeah. Red um, Matos is in here. E-Town Comics. Uh, Roger Heller. Scott Farr. Hello, Scott. I was talking to Scott a little bit earlier today. Fire Davis. Poor Mike Kachun. Uh, just a ton of people. It's it's hard for me to keep track, to be honest. Uh, Michael P. Nerdy Couch, one of my favorite new channels. JLS Comics. Um, just a ton of people in here. And the list just keeps growing and going. So that's very cool. Appreciate it. My buddy Sam Stangle Webb, he's in here. Stay puff as well. And there we go. Okay. Uh, let's kind of get back to Max Pro here. And this is something I want to correct because I misspoke when I talked about your warehouse. And you were quick to let me know that I misspoke about the warehouse. So I, 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 <laughs> I, I had quoted your warehouse at being 8,000 square feet, which to me is uh, very big, okay? But apparently I was wrong. You want to correct me on that? Uh, we're, we're pushing, I think, 35,000 square feet. Uh, it's pretty big. We, we just knocked out a wall not too long ago to house more supplies. So it's, 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 it's just a little bit bigger than what you thought it was. <laughs> I, so I was about 20% of what it actually was. Uh, and that's a lot of supplies. I mean, you have more than comic supplies. It's all sorts of stuff. And I actually took some pictures the other day when I was visiting the warehouse I posted one on my Instagram. I'm going to be posting some more probably later tomorrow. So if anyone wants to take a look at some of the uh, cardboard that's all stacked up and all the boxes and all the supplies, it's very cool. It's a very cool place. I appreciate you letting me kind of take a tour and look around and all the goodness and stuff. But uh, so everyone knows it's not 8,000 square feet. It's more <laughs> like 35,000 square feet. And uh, so they got a lot of stuff going on. Okay. Um, what else can you tell me about Max Pro Supplies? Anything we should know? Well, uh, yeah, we're growing. And, you know, since we took over the company, the company really wasn't known for the comic supplies when we took it over. But obviously, we have a love for that. So we wanted to expand into that. Um, 
you know, we're just uh, growing by leaps and bounds. We've partnered with a, a lot of other people. We do distribution for boxes in action. You guys can probably see some of the yep. boxes and some boxes behind me there with the artwork on them. They're really beautiful boxes. Um, and um, yeah, we're just uh, happy to be here and uh, loving talking to you and Comic Tom and getting the meet the community that's out here. So. Awesome, awesome. And uh, people can find you at maxprosupplies.com, which is very cool. It's on the web. And uh, there's a code that somebody can use. I, I think it's called Bueller. <laughs> and and uh, you get 10% off the order. And just so everybody knows, the link is down below. Uh, you can click on there. You can go to their website, purchase whatever you want. Type in the code Bueller at the end and save 10% off your purchase. Which uh, And I want to be honest with this. Uh, it's something I wanted to do, but... When I first met you guys, it was your idea. You guys actually came to me and said, hey, we got this code if you want to use it type thing. And I thought that was really cool. I, I appreciate that. Yeah, well, we wanted to have a way for you to give back to your followers and, and uh, you know, make things better for everybody. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've never had a coupon code be named after me. So, I mean, that's, uh, I mean, I mean, uh, yeah. it, it, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, but let's go ahead and get into some of the supplies, okay? And just kind of the stuff that you carry. And obviously, we're going to focus on um, the comics because that's what kind of this channel is about. Um, so, do me a quick, give me a quick rundown of some of your um, better selling supplies, probably well known supplies that you carry, and the options. So we have our showcases, which are like the displays for putting your favorite issues on the wall to display, show off to your buddies, your favorite artwork. Um, we have those in like a, a UV for your high quality books. You want to make sure that have no uh, damage happen to them. And then we also have them in a lower cost option where if you just have some books that are just general run of the mill quarter bin stuff, but they look cool. You want to hang them on the wall for a while. Don't care if the sun fades them a little bit, a little more affordable. Uh, bags and boards, all different sizes. We do all of our bags and boards, our, our bags, in um, thick and resealable as well as just a standard. Uh, so I don't know. A lot of people, there's a common misconception about thick bags. People think that they're actually made of thicker material, but mm -hmm. they're actually made for books that are thicker, like 80-page um, giants, annuals, that kind of thing. So we make sure that we have all that. We have supplies for art prints and that kind of thing, original art, keeping that stuff protected, um, storage boxes, and then, you know, on down the line, um, the, the Max Lights, which have been a great hit. Everybody loves those. We're so, going to get to those in a minute because those are my favorite. I do have a question in the chat here, which I thought was pretty cool. Do you, do you only ship within the United States or do you ship uh, overseas? We do ship overseas. Uh, we'd have to do, uh, you know, get you a special quote or, you know, we have different channels that we sell through where we can use their um, international shipping. So we could get you hooked up one way or another. Just reach out and we'll we'll get folks hooked up if they're overseas. That was from Ner Nerdvana Comics 1. Do you ship to England? I watched John's video earlier and was impressed with the quality. So that's very cool. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. Um, let's go ahead and get back to the supplies real quick. And if anybody has any questions, please put it in the chat and uh, put a question mark by it so it kind of stands out for me so I can find it. Um, let's see. Do you, Oh, there's the one right here. Do you ever provide samples? And that's from Joey Solo. That could get cost prohibitive. <laughs> you know, um, uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to do that. We, you know, we always try to have po have folks if they have questions, just try a small batch out and see if they're going to yeah. work out okay. But uh, we stand behind our product, and everybody seems to be pretty happy with it. So that's right. <laughs> and uh, you know what? Uh, as far as samples goes, we're doing a couple of giveaways, and we're going to be giving away some of these awesome Max Light bags. I got a couple of them here. I'm going to be giving away. All you guys got to do to enter the giveaway for these bags. After this uh, live stream is over, just leave a comment down below and I'll be picking two uh, random winners next week and I'll let you know who won. But these are the 100 packs of the Max Light bags. And these are my favorite bags of all time, to be honest. So we got a couple of those and who knows, we might throw some extra stuff in there as well. Um, whatever fits in the nice priority box, we'll put it in there, make it worth your while. Um, okay, so we were talking about the bags and let's, 
let's go and go into. Um, I was curious about this. Um, it's kind of the, the quality control, and you said something just now that's very interesting. You stand behind your product, and th mm -hmm. this this came up uh, one time. One of my uh, viewers asked me a question. They they had a problem with uh, one of the bags, and they're like, uh, "What do I do?" And, you know, ask them what they what their um, response is to the bag. And I told them I asked you guys, and I got the exact answer I wanted. You said, "Just let us know. We'll take care of it. We stand behind our product." And uh, yep. I'm assuming that goes on all the products you have, correct? Absolutely. I mean, we're we want you guys to be happy with what you get. And there's only a finite number of collectors out there, obviously. And you know, if word gets going through the community that you're not going to stand behind your stuff or that you make bad merchandise. People aren't going to be, you're not going to be in business very long. I mean, so um, I think we talked about the issue you were talking about was somebody said that the bags had some variance in them. And I think you and I talked about how the material yep. comes off the rolls when they're seamed and sealed together. Uh, so when the roll gets to the very end, and if the person who is running that machine isn't paying attention, the material gets a lot thinner at the very end. And so a lot of times you'll get, you know, maybe five to 10 bags in the last batch that comes off of that machine. And so if that happens to you, please, you know, contact us, stick them in an envelope and send us back the, the bad ones and we'll, we'll ship you out some good ones, you know, and, and that's, that's that. Uh, I have another question here. Beeler asked them if they sent any promotion posters for the store. Do you have any uh, promotions or whatnot with your logos and stuff like that? You know, that's something we could look into. We really haven't done too much in the way of, we've done a lot of stuff that's promotional for gaming. Um, we have like promotional deck boxes with our logo and stuff like that, that we give out to stores for gaming. But um, we haven't done a lot of like Max Pro supplies on sale here or anything like that. So that is definitely a good question. Very cool. I think you, uh, you get that logo. You can, use, you can use my face on there if you want to. Make it look all yeah. a little Beeler face or something, my Beeler logo, whatever you want. That's, uh, that's up to you guys. Um, so I want to get in a little bit more detail into my favorite item. Okay. And this is, uh, I talk about this a lot. It's kind of the bags I have switched to. It's what I'm going to be giving away here. And these are the Max Light bags. And, uh, Tell me, sell me a Max Light bag. What what is a Max Light bag? You want me to get all technical on you? It's uh... yeah, I got people asking. I got the Gene Paul Ace P here asking. May may have already been asked, but what are the bags made of? Uh, polypropylene, polyester, resin, all sorts of questions. I mean, we're common collectors, man. We like to know details. So this stuff is called. I believe it's called biaxially oriented <laughs> uh, or BOPP, which is a much clearer, cleaner looking uh, material, which in, and uh, a little more uh, sturdy. And um, we're just really impressed with the material. And, you know, we saw it, we were like, Hey, let's go full steam ahead. These are great. So, and I actually see uh, Steve is in the chat, the, the owner. <laughs> oh, right on. Yeah, it says uh, that promo poster is actually an interesting suggestion. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh, man. Yeah, that, that would be interesting. <laughs> Very cool. So what, uh, as far as the bags go, um, compare them to the Mylar bags, to, to the MyLite bags. I mean, uh, I, I like them. The first thing I noticed, and I'm a budget guy, and everyone who watches my stuff, they know I'm a budget guy. I like the 50 cent bo books. I like the dollar books. So I don't like spending a lot of money. And the first thing that strikes me about these bags is when I go to your website, they're like less than $5 for a hundred pack of bags. That's the state. That's how much I pay for the regular bags. And these right. are very similar to the Mylar and Mylites. Tell me the, the difference between those. They're a little different material, uh, but they're very similar in clarity and, uh, uh, sturdiness. You know, the, those Mylite bags are going to have the, uh, the additional, they're not flimsy like your regular comic bags. So, um, yeah, I mean, if you're a budget person, definitely go with the Max Lights. You're going to get more bang for your buck, and you're going to be really happy with the with the results. So, I've seen you show some of those books off on your channel, and they look beautiful. They do. Look, <laughs> this is one right here, and of course, I got to show a shiny cover one. But this is in uh, one of the the Max Light bags, 
and you know obviously i got the lighting so i got the glare going but god it looks really shiny and these these the reason i like these and honestly i've only ever used the regular bags i've never used the bags like this okay so that was kind of where it kind of caught me off guard they're thicker material than the regular bags and yeah i i asked you this the other day i said do you i have to replace these bags you know like i do the regular bags uh you know they're gonna be they're probably gonna last a longer than a, than a standard bag you should always be looking at your bags though and you know i used like when i had my shop i had some bags that were hanging on the wall that were green and i was talking, and i had a little <laughs> sign that said how long has it been since you replaced your bags so uh i always suggest to people to keep an eye on your collection but those are going to last a lot longer than a standard bag um and i see steve chiming in on here he says they are a bit thinner than a standard poly bag but much clearer um so i think you would attest to that so yeah yeah uh and here's the thing i i was telling you earlier today that uh i'd sold um a bunch of my bueller boxes yesterday and <laughs> excuse me Every one of the Bueller boxes right now, there's I always give out an independent book that is in the uh, pack of 11. That independent book is going to be bagged in one of these Max Light bags. And whoever got a Bueller box, I need your feedback. I want to know what you guys think. The rest of them are going to be regular bags, but the independent book, because I wanted to make sure you guys knew which one it was, those will be uh, packed in the Max Light bag. So let me know what you think when you get them. I'd appreciate a little bit of feedback. Um, but I want to stick with these with these Max Light bags because they're my favorite bags. So I'm just going to keep talking about them, really. Um, so what is? And I've had this come up as well. This is a question somebody's given me. What is the right bags or right boards that go with these bags? What do you recommend? Because I've noticed uh, sometimes the it might be a little tight because some of the books are thicker. You know, if you get an annual, what do you suggest using? Like if you have an annual or a, a larger size book. Um, well, you know, I would use a silver bag on an annual or a larger size book. Um, you're, they don't, the boards don't come any smaller than a current. So you're going to want to use a current board with the current bag. But if you have a larger or a thicker book, I would suggest going with a silver bag. I think somebody else has a question about the, the folding over the flaps on the back of the bags. I saw somebody had a, uh, when the bags fold over the backing board, does it fit flush or is there a bunching effect? Oh, can you show them? <laughs> uh, they, yeah, they they are flush. They're, they're very nice. I don't know how good you can see that on this on a webcam yeah. or whatnot. But uh, they are flush. They look good. That's them. I think I got a couple other books here that are just kind of sitting here. And Oh, it's this one right here. Um, this is a, came out this week. But that lays flush on there. It's very cool. I only have one piece of tape on there. I should be using two, but... Uh, I'm kind of stingy on my tape as well, so it's only one piece of tape. But they do lay flush, and they look pretty good. At, let me, I'll show you that book as well. Maybe that kind of shows. This is a. This one is in the uh, Silver Age one, and that's kind of cool. This is not a bigger book, but I just like putting them in there. So very awesome. So, like I said, the price on these is cheap. Uh, they're like around five dollars. Compared to uh, the the Mylites and the Mylar bags, those are quite a bit more money from what I've been seeing, right? Right, right. Yes, uh, absolutely. They're 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 yeah, exponentially more. I see somebody asking how long do they last before you have to change them with multiple question marks after it. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have like a time machine. I can't go forward in time and tell you uh, how long. <laughs> um, and it's all you know. As with any other bag, it's it's determined by temperature and humidity and everything else of where you store them, that's going to affect uh, how the bag wears. Like, like I said, the ones that I showed off in my store when they were green were stored in a, you know, semi-humid <laughs> area. And the, uh, those were not max bags, by the way, <laughs> those were way back in the day, back in the, uh, the nineties. But um, yeah. I, so I, I, unfortunately I can't answer that question with any great clarity, um, but they're going to be, a step up from your standard bag for sure. And um, they're about the same price. Yeah. So, <laughs> and like I said, this is a silver one. And uh, there was uh, the, actually Bubs Comics is the one that uh, I kind of brought to your attention. He's in the chat right now. And he had gotten some bags that uh, were a little bit shorter that didn't fit the as far as the boards go. 
And that's kind of when you told me about the roll, how they come off the roll, whatnot at the end. Um, that's that's not like an issue that's like is is a, it always happens, correct? Well, that's just a, that's not that that doesn't happen. Yeah, that's not as a general rule. That happens, you know, when they get to the end. Like I said, as the attendant there at that machine isn't paying attention, they're supposed to turn it off, and then you know, maybe you know, five or ten bags come through that that shouldn't have gone through. So, unfortunately, we don't have control of that factory. Yeah. <laughs> so, but, uh, uh, Bub's comics. Uh, if you have any problems, just let me know or let Brian know, and we will take care of you, man. We'll make sure everything's right and taken care of for you. Uh, he's a good guy. I've, I've actually been on Bub's show before. Really nice guy, uh, big time collector. He's got a great uh, Wolverine Hulk 181 that he likes to show off on pretty much every single video and stuff. It's, yeah. that's, that's like my grail book that I want. So yeah, that's, that's very cool. Book. I remember it's, picking one up for like $15 back in the day. And oh, going, God, I can't believe I'm paying $15 for a book. Uh, <laughs> wish I had paid $15 multiple times now. But. Uh, <laughs> It looks like uh, Steve's answering some questions in here. That's pretty cool. You see that? Yeah, he's he's jumping in. He's he's uh, dispensing the the knowledge. Yeah. So uh, Max Protection right there. Everyone, that's Steve. That's the president of the company. He's hanging out with us as well. Like I said, he couldn't make it on the on the camera end, but he's probably sitting with his cell phone, typing away as fast as he can. I think so. That's yeah. very cool. Yeah. Um. All right, so the Max Light Bags, one of my favorites. Everybody who ordered a Bueller box is going to be getting uh, some books in the Max Light Bags. I'm hoping they get some feedback from you guys. I'd really like to hear it. They're on the website, maxprosupplies.com. Uh, right now, unfortunately, the Silvers, come on, man. Come on. They're coming. They're coming. They're on, that, they're on those trains coming from the, <laughs> the Great White North, you know. <laughs> but the, uh, the currents are available right now, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We got we got lots of those uh, in stock. Uh, those are actually those were ordered uh, restock of those were ordered before the silvers ran out. So we've got more of those coming before the silvers actually arrive. Okay. Um, so so that's where that sits. <laughs> and those are in packs of a hundred. Like the I looked up like the 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 my lights and those are packs of fifty. And yeah, but, but the one. these ones are packs of a hundred. Like the regular standard hundred bags that we get on a normal. Uh, poly bags or whatnot, correct? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, so you're going to get a, a hundred in a pack. Yeah. The uh, when you get the mylars, um, you know, and I, I'm not speaking ill of mylars at all. Mylars are great. Uh, you know, we do distribution of other brands through our warehouse here as well. We we own Max Protection. We own distribution as well. So, we work with Gerber as well. You know, when you get those, though, if you get a, a two mil, it's going to come in a fifty count pack. If you get a four mil, it's going to come in a twenty five count pack. So, um, you know. The, the the value is there for sure. Uh, Popcom, he said, no boards yet, any ETA. Actually, Popcom, we were t telling you uh, earlier in the stream, those are on the way. Those are, because of the weather that was in the uh, on the East Coast, everything kind of got delayed a little bit. So that stuff is heading our, our way. And once you receive them, then they're going to be shipping out to whoever is going to be ordering them, correct? Yeah, we're expecting to see them sometime early next week, uh, weather permitting. We're, well, the weatherman was saying we might have some of that white stuff coming down here next week. So, <laughs> very Hopefully cool. Hopefully, delayed at all. But, uh, so we're moving on to comic book stores boxes. One, we, yeah. uh, we've all got them. And, uh, you know what? Um, I'm, I'm, I've got, as I've gotten older, I've switched to the short boxes. Just because the, the long boxes are just too, <laughs> guys. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. They're too heavy, you know, now. And I, so I've switched to the short boxes and I really like them. Um, what are some of the options you guys have for not only uh, the cardboard ones, but also you have some different types of boxes now? Yeah, so we've got we've got plastic boxes now. Um, we've got those for graded books, for for magazines. For comics, long and short, they come in three different colors, so you can get them in black, white, and gray. Um, we also have a flip top box, so you don't have to worry about losing the lid for your box. It's a little, little more affordable. It all comes as one piece. Um, and then we have, like I said, the, the art boxes by uh, Boxes in Action. We have solid colored comic boxes. Like my wife always hated my my white comic boxes would always end up getting you know dingy and yellow over time. So we have them. They come in black. 
red, blue, green, um, in a solid color. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, there's 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 uh, a myriad of options for your uh, boxes to display. <laughs> uh, you know, um, our buddy here, he's in the chat, and you know this, but the John's Comics for Kids, he just showed a bunch of your boxes yesterday on his live stream, and he got the plastic ones. And the thing that he messaged me and I talked to him, he loves the handles. The fact that yeah. they have handles and you don't cut your fingers because mm. those plastic ones can be a little sharp. Yeah, I used to run um, in my shops. I had all my stuff in black plastic um, because it, it looked nicer. But moving those things around, you'd slice your hands up and it wasn't good. I mean, not, and not you're not, you're not bleeding all over the place, but you get a little <laughs> cut and whatnot. Um, so, yeah, those handles are great. Uh, definitely for the wear and tear on your, your palms and fingers there. <laughs> Very cool. And uh, I want to real quick, let me show this real, uh, real fast. I actually got this sitting here. And uh, cause this came up on John's thing and are the handles on correctly right now? Is that how they're supposed to be? You know, I think it's permanent uh, personal preference uh, <laughs> okay. put them on that way, but you know, the, they can go either way. Okay. Cause <laughs> I, I told him he had them on upside down and uh, he's like, Oh, okay. I'm not gonna tell anybody they're doing it wrong. I mean, it's not going to, it doesn't really affect how they, they work either way. There's a, there's a flat part on both sides, so it should protect your hand either way. So if you like it better with the rounded up, it's fine. <laughs> Very cool. I like them. I think they're pretty cool. I like the handles. I think, um, Obviously, I look at this in the plastic one I just showed. They're going to last a lot longer than the regular cardboard one. Obviously, the card ones, they tend to fade. You know, we have all got our boxes that kind of start to get that little yellow tint to them eventually. Uh, the yep. plastic ones, I don't think we're going to have that problem. And for the most part, um, plastic lasts forever. You know, that's why we recycle. So, I mean. Yeah. Right. Yep. But I do want to talk about the cardboard ones because this is kind of cool. And if people aren't aware... In the Pacific Northwest, we're just surrounded by trees. I mean, all we have is trees, just trees, trees, and trees. So where are the boxes manufactured? Our boxes are made here in Portland, Oregon. So, um, yeah, we, we, we source local whenever we can. And, um, yeah, we have a great relationship with a manufacturing facility just over the bridge here from us. And uh, our rep was just here this afternoon talking about uh, – some ideas we have for upcoming products and uh, they're great to work with. That's awesome. I like, I noticed that the prices on the box, like the short box prices on the website are very low. Uh, is that directly because you're manufacturing them literally just a few miles away? Yeah. We don't have to pay a lot of shipping. Um, we can have them, you know, made at a moment's notice. So uh, it's, it's pretty cool. It, it affords us a lot of flexibility. Yeah, I, I like them. I saw them on there. I think they're just the the short boxes. I, I can't remember the exact price. Do you know the price points off the top of your head? Off the top of my head, no. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you have a lot of SKUs in your inventory, so I wouldn't expect it. Yeah. Well, I just put you on the spot just for a quick second. <laughs> Yeah, um, I'm, I'm, unfortunately, I don't have all that just you know stored away up here. You know, I'm a wealth of useless information, all kinds of sports and comics and first appearances and you know all that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> well, hey, anybody who has a, a Stewie Griffin doll in the background, I mean, that's pretty cool. So you got you got you got my thumbs up, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're gonna move on to some other supplies, uh, the, the standard bags and boards. Um, so you were mentioning like the thicker bags or and st stuff so what matches up with what so the thicker bags are for what purpose so a, a thick bag is like i said it's for a uh, like an 80 page giant or an annual or if you have a graphic novel a lot of times now graphic novels a lot of people i get that question a lot is will these work for graphic novels um because graphic novels vary so widely in thickness and size Sometimes yes, sometimes no. But but going back to what thick bags are for, um, so they're for they're meant for like like the thicker books, like an annual or an eighty page giant. Um, and then I think you've gotten some of the 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 thicker uh, paper boards, like the uh, fifty six point uh, paper boards. So you'd use those. I always go with like a step up on the bag for one of those just to hold you know your nicer books or your clear back your clear back boards as well go with a step up because the material is a little thicker on the, uh, the backer board. And um, 
it requires a little bit of a thicker bag to give you a little room to get the, the book and the board in and out. And on the uh, boards themselves, there's different thicknesses of boards, and I, I actually didn't know that because <laughs> I for the longest time on my uh, as far as like my nicer books that I really like, I would just put two boards in the in the bag itself and then put the the comic in front of it and kind of make it a little stiffer. Uh, there's thicker boards that I found from you guys from visiting your your uh, warehouse. A uh, couple of different points. Which ones are uh, what different points are there? So the standard board is like a 20 point. I think the paper boards that we've uh, supplied you with are like a 56 point. And I think we have two different thicknesses of the plastic, the clear back boards, um, which are, you know, again, for your, your higher end books or the books that you want to show off the artwork where it's a wraparound cover or like, you know, if it's a really old, like you've got a real nice silver age book and you don't want to be pulling it in and out to show the guy the back of the book over, over and over again at a show, you know, if you've got a clear back on there, you can just kind of show the guy, Hey, no rips in the back. See, here you go. <laughs> so, so on the thicker boards, do you need to use the thicker bag or is that just because for a thicker yeah, comic? step up? So if you're going to use that, that, that big thick, uh, like the 56 point paper board, um, you probably want to go with like on a current, a current one of those you either want to go with like a thick or even a silver bag on that so if you're going to go with a 56 point silver um the paper board again you're probably going to go with like a silver thick or even a golden depending on the thickness of the book that you're going to put in there very cool and those usually come in packs of 50 from what i saw correct yeah yeah well the the clear backs are i think packs of five okay. and then the the uh the thick paper boards are are 50 count well, let's talk about the clear ones because those are pretty cool. Yeah, <laughs> so uh, well, give me some details on the clear ones, man, because I uh, those are pretty awesome looking. Uh, you know, uh, what's more to say? I mean, they're they're <laughs> they make they make your book look beautiful, especially in the in the max lights. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think you do. You have a, a Wolverine in there to, to show yeah. off. Yeah. So I wanted to show a book that has. It's got the 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 Max Light bag. This is the Max Light uh, Silver Age bag, and this is the clear backing board. And because this Wolverine obviously has back uh, has art on the back, that's why you probably want to use it to show that artwork. Obviously, if you have wraparound cover books and stuff like that. But I'm trying to get the glare off it, the dreaded glare. But uh, these are pretty cool, man. I mean, they're not. Uh, um, they're, he nice, they're heavy. <laughs> they're, they're they're he going burn on the back there. It has some nice art. Yeah, one of my favorite yeah. artists of all time. Yeah. Yep, I like it. It's one of my favorite too. But these these are heavy. These are not light at all. Oh yeah, no, those are those are definitely for your higher end books. Um, you want to keep those books protected and uh, show them off. So yeah, they're not a they're not a light uh, a light board at all. So is th is there different thicknesses of these? Yeah, there's, I believe, a couple different thicknesses on the clear boards. Okay. And they come, and they, when they're wrapped, I saw them in the pack, they're all wrapped. They have the, the plastic film on them and stuff like that. They're all individually kind of have that seal on them, correct? Yeah, yeah, and I think you and I were talking, you were asking if there was like a, a trick to making it easier to get that protective film off there, and I suggested maybe uh, you hit it with a little bit of a, like a blow dryer on low heat, and it mm -hmm. probably would have to free up a little easier because... It's cold up here right now. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, they're really cool. I, I thought I, I grabbed a pack of them when I was there at, you guys, at your warehouse, and uh, I thought they were awesome. I, I only have a few books that have the back. I have a bunch of the Wolverine run, and I think like the first 12 issues all had the uh, artwork on the back. And there's also that famous Todd McFarlane one that he drew on the back of the Wolverine. I thought that was really good. But uh, these are really cool, especially for um, – those new books that are coming out, like that Guardians of the Galaxy. I don't know if you're up to date on current books, but uh, Guardians of the Galaxy number one came out, and that had a great wraparound cover. And I missed out on picking it up, but that would be a perfect book to go into this with the clear back, so you'd be able to see the whole thing. But these are really cool. I like them, and uh, they're they're in stock, right? You, you got them? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, they're in stock right now. Awesome. I'm trying to think of like, like great covers that you could put in there, like those old chromium covers, like for uh, you know uh, X Men Alpha or those kind of things would be great looking in there too. You know, where it's got the the wrap around <laughs> chromium cover or that kind of thing. Yep, I I love the all the all the shine and stuff like that. And these come in packs of five. Is that the largest pack that you can get? Is five? Yeah, I mean you can buy them by the case, but yeah, yeah. they come in a 
Okay. Um, those are really cool. And then I think I, I showed the. I don't. I think I showed that book. I just want to show it again. You got. You see this poster behind me? That is a beautiful book, sir. Th this this was a po somebody sent me this poster in the mail. I actually think he's in here, Bob's World, and because uh, he, I told him one time I have this book, and I would love to have a poster of this book. And this was like months ago, and then all of a sudden in the mail, this shows up today, or yesterday, and. That it's a like a huge poster of one of my favorite that's books that I have in this nice thick board that I feel very comfortable about using. Moment there. That's a defining Spidey moment, you know, not giving up on being buried under all that rubble. And yeah, that's an amazing book. <laughs> yeah. It's one of my favorites. I, I picked it up last year and uh, it was one of those books to where I always wanted it, you know, and I got it for a really good price. And I couldn't pass it up. And now I have the book. And now I have this really cool poster to go with it. And I don't know where I'm going to set the poster yet. I'm still trying to work out where it's going to go. But I think it looks pretty good. Um, so we talked about the, the bags. And obviously, you have a nice variety of comic supplies. But that's not the only stuff you have. Can you give me a rundown of the other things that you guys uh, provide? Oh, good golly. Okay, so we do acrylic uh, display cases for sports memorabilia, um, as small as like a golf ball, all the way up to like a football helmet, or multiple football helmets in some cases, uh, or displays for like uh, basketball shoes or cleats, that kind of thing. Uh, so all kinds of, and we, a lot of our acrylic displays could be multi-purposed for like uh, statues, which I know I collected a heck of a lot of those uh, in my time in the uh, owning a store, probably way too many. <laughs> um, and uh, so, so they can be multi-purpose to keep that dust off those statues, which I know is a, a big issue. Um, we also carry um, sports card supplies and gaming supplies. So sleeves and deck boxes for your gaming play mats, um, all of that kind of stuff with some, some gorgeous art, some of it done by yours truly. Uh, <laughs> um, and uh, we also carry uh, supplies that hold, uh, like I said, posters and prints, uh, movie poster supplies, um, sheet music bags, uh, just about, you know, if you can collect it, we yeah. protect it. I mean, uh, we have some coin supplies. We're, 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 we've got a pretty broad spectrum of what we try to cover. The, the comic cat said, do you sell helmet uh, protection? Like the, uh, I'm assuming like the cases and stuff like uh, helmets. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we have, uh, we have the, yeah, definitely. We have them in uh, multiple <laughs> different designs. Um, he might've been making a joke there, but I just wanted to, oh, I just cool. wanted to let him know I recognize them or whatnot. So, <laughs> but yes, they sell display cases for helmets, uh, football mm -hmm. helmets, stuff yeah. like that. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's good stuff, but here's this is this will be kind of fun because I I've seen the warehouse I've seen all the stuff you guys got and uh, you know I would you know if people are interested in seeing some of the other supplies because we're all we all collect things we all collect more than just comics for the most part comics we all comics and cards kind of go together I mean that's what you guys do and sports memorabilia so if anyone wants to uh, see that type of stuff I wouldn't mind kind of showing it off. I was a big sports card collector back in the day and gaming card collector and all that stuff. And so if anyone's interested in seeing that product, I could bring it to uh, the Bueller, Comics with Bueller, and show off some really cool stuff that you guys provide. Yeah, yeah, no, that'd be cool. And let, uh, look, Steve's still in there, man. He's still oh, he's in there. there. He's answering questions left and right. Yeah, no. Yeah, man, man. Well, when, he, when he comes <laughs> on the show, it's going to be crazy. <laughs> uh, we got AKA Mr. Bolo in the chat. He's a member of the CBSI team. Very cool. Very cool. And uh, you have dice as well. I saw that on there. I thought that was pretty cool. My buddy's really into gaming, and he's like, he was actually looking on your website, all the different dice you have. I think thought that. He's like, oh, I got to get me some of those dice. <laughs> no, yeah, we do dice. I see somebody else here asking about whether we do record supplies. Yeah, we do boxes for for vinyl records and for 45s, all that kind of stuff. We also have like, um, a lot of people don't know, we make a manga storage box, which is also called a media storage box. So that'll hold your, uh, your manga books and it'll also hold like uh, uh, DVDs and video games. So it's, uh, it's designed to hold that kind of thing. We we have the houses for the, the the short and long boxes as well. So 
you want to stack those bad boys up and be able to get access to that box on the bottom, you've got those as well. So those are pretty handy. <laughs> you, you've got 35,000 square feet of supplies from for everything, correct? Pre pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> the record supplies have really been growing. Like we've seen a lot of people uh, doing uh, record supplies, so uh, or buying record supplies, and 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 there's just been a re huge resurgence in vinyl. So I'm gonna have to uh, take you up on that because uh, I have a nice. I, I don't have many. I have a little stack of records that I've kept from like the 70s and 80s. My Blues Brothers uh, record, my uh, Cheech and Chong comedy record and stuff like that i might oh, have to get yeah. some, some nice little displays or holders for this so to protect them because they're they're starting to show their age for sure it's not here man <laughs> <laughs> yeah i got my buddy uh steve Whitting. he's in here as well he's in the chat thank you steve for joining me he's, he's a really good guy he's actually donated quite a few books to go out in the bueller box and uh not alone you guys um gave some books as well that's going to the Bueller box. So all these Bueller boxes that are going out uh, on Monday, there's a nice chunk of books that I were provided from uh, Max Pro Supplies. And I want to say thank you for that. I appreciate it. Ain't no problem. You know, we love our comics. <laughs> yeah. he, ba he basically said, just go, go in here, pick out whatever you want, and fill up a box. And that's pretty much what I did. And those are going to the uh, comic book community. So uh, thank you very much, Brian. That's awesome. Um, but you, you've got a ton of other supplies. I'm really interested about the record stuff. So I would really like to uh, get into that at another time, if you wouldn't mind. Yeah, no problem. Very cool. Very cool. But I want to, uh, here's the, th I'm kind of spoiled here in the Pacific Northwest because you're here in the Pacific Northwest and I can go to my local shop and they have your supplies in the store and I can yeah. just get them there if I need to. Um, that's probably not the case uh, throughout the United States because we are local. So how would, if you're, if somebody out there that wants to get the Max Pro supplies and they go to their comic shop and they don't have them, what should they do? Well, you can request them and I can also give you guys, I'll give you guys my direct email address. I'll do it right now. Max Pro at Max Pro Supplies.com. It's pretty hard to remember. I know Max Pro. <laughs> at maxprosupplies.com. And if they hit me up for a wholesale account, you know, we'll verify that they are a brick and mortar store and uh, we'll get them set up and uh, we'll be good to go. And uh, then you'll be having those supplies just getting trucked on into your local comic shop. All over the United States of America, Max Pro Supplies. Yeah, that I'd be all good with that. <laughs> <laughs> That's my goal. That's my goal. Ever, ever. <laughs> Steve says he already gave out my secret ID there. <laughs> uh, you're going to be busy on Monday morning. <laughs> A lot of emails. That's very cool. So like I said, you're, you're locally, I find your product all the time. It's in basically the main shops I go to. I see your product all the time. Okay. Um, I really want people to know that, you know, uh, the Max Pro supplies are great. I enjoy these supplies, especially the, the bags I always talk about. So if you do go into your local comic shop or whatnot and they don't have them, just give the information that was just talked about just now and let that comic shop know that they can try it out. You know, they might be surprised with what they get, especially the bags that I'm, I always talk about. Uh, they're very uh, inexpensive. So it's not, uh, they're not going to be out too much money if they just try it out. And I can pretty much guarantee if they do try them out, they're going to order more because they're pretty cool. Yeah. And they can refer them to watch your video, right? Your review of our stuff. And then they can just, without even having to have them in hand, they can be like, wow, those look pretty good. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's, what, that's, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> um, so let's talk about uh, right now, everybody can contact the, the website, which is maxprosupplies.com, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And all this stuff is on there. It's no problem. They can go there. Uh, so like we said, some stuff is out of stock. It's on its way to be in stock. Uh, I said at the beginning, the Max Pro Supplies website is down below. The link, you can click on it, check it out. Um, I did want to talk about the shipping costs because I noticed on the shipping costs on some, some items, after you hit a certain threshold of your order, it becomes free. Is that correct? Yeah. You hit a hundred bucks, it's free. So, uh, 
That's not too hard to hit when you're uh, talking about bags and boards and all that good stuff. So, a hundred bucks, over, anything over a hundred bucks ships for free. Um, and uh, I'm sure Steve will be chiming in about that here. Pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Steve. yeah. So it's a, it's a, it's a good thing. <laughs> Uh, let's see, there's a, a question here. I do a lot of comic art, so I need top loaders for my art, artwork. Do you have 11 by 17 top loaders? Yeah, we actually deal a lot with artists who do shows and stuff and who want to sell their wares at shows um, and have supplies to sell to folks. We also deal a lot of, with show promoters who are going to have artists or have an artist alley, and uh, they don't have anyone who's going to be selling sleeves or print protection, um, you know, or even they're going to have a, a celebrity there and they need protection for, for photos. Um, we do, you know, we do protection for eight by tens and six by nines. We do a lot of photo protection uh, um, as well as, uh, well, that was noisy. <laughs> <laughs> um, as well as stuff for like postcards. I mean, we have stuff, we have so much stuff, Euler. I, I know I've, I've taken you through a couple times now and shown you stuff. Yeah. There. Just, I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of fun. I just see there, I was looking at the, I'm like, hey, can we go in that room with all the cardboard boxes? I mean, just pallet <laughs> and pallet. He's like, sure. Because I, when I went there the first time, I walked in there, and it's just like a mountain of, uh, you know, pallets of comic book boxes just sitting there. And it's just, it's just a thing of beauty. So I really appreciate that mountains this is a mountain range of comic boxes and record boxes and all the different stuff that <laughs> it's it's very cool it's a it's a pretty cool place to visit i like it um so the order process on your website is pretty basic you just pick out you add it to your cart you enter in your information uh do you can you check out as a guest or do you make an account uh either way you can do guest or an account if you're going to be re repeating your order it's probably going to be easier for you to have an account but if you just want to do it as a guest and be uh, down and dirty and, and, and quick and simple. That's the easiest way to do it. Um, and again, going back to the whole thing about uh, wholesalers, when I set up an account for a wholesaler, all I really need when we do that is a, a name and an email address. Once we get that set up, you're allowed to you go in and you set up all the details for your wholesale account. So you put in all your, your shipping address and all of that kind of stuff. So it's really, really easy to get a wholesale account set up. It's not going to be like you're going to have to be on the phone with me for a half an hour or anything like yep. that. So don't don't sweat it. Please don't hesitate to reach out to me. <laughs> yeah, the, the the wholesale account is, I got to tell you, it's pretty nice. <laughs> uh, I mean, there's a couple of guys that jumped in the chat, the Great Legend Show. That's actually one of my uh, good friends. Uh, I'm on uh, the Comic Core at 7 o'clock tonight. So I'll be joining him pretty soon. And I said, Paul, Midwest comic man. He also jumped in the chat and uh, he's on the show as well. And I got a super chat from hashtag uh, closet geek. Sup fam. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Oh, thank you, man. I appreciate that. That's awesome. Uh, let's see. And you know what? Steve is still doing his thing. And my my hat's off to Steve. Uh, right, he's answering the questions. <laughs> yeah, he's really enjoying this, man. He's really enjoying this. Um, you know, we're getting towards the end here, and obviously, the last thing on my little list I wanted to make sure everyone knows is the Beeler code. And we kind of mentioned it at the beginning. The Beeler code is for ten percent off your purchase. So you just go to the website. You fill up your cart with whatever you need, bags, boards, boxes, record supplies, all that good stuff. When you go to checkout, uh, you just enter in the code Bueller and capital letter, low le lower letter, doesn't matter. I asked you that before. Uh, you know, I've seen them come through with both. Okay. I was thinking to do all capitals, but I've seen them come through all capitalized or lowercase. So if you have an issue with it, try doing it in all capitals, but it should be okay either way um yeah <laughs> and, and uh steve just uh pronounced uh, spelled my name wrong <laughs> oh, well, you, 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 uh, there's, a baseball player. there's a baseball player named walker bueller and so with the one code in originally he spelled it like walker bueller <laughs> like no it's like ferris bueller, dude oh so, that's crazy and who's but, typing uh, for protection <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah you get that 10 percent off yeah, yeah, 10% off, absolutely. Uh, I think uh, John was raving about that yesterday, I believe. <laughs> yeah. 
what a good deal he got over what he'd been paying elsewhere. And and then on top of that, the 10% off. So yeah, very cool. Cause he bought a bunch of the boxes and like he, John said he compared the prices and it was on this video and he saved like $40 with a combination mm -hmm. of, of the code and just the overall being a lower price point. He didn't say 50. I think it was yeah. well. John could he'll he'll chime in on the chat. I'm <laughs> so that's good. And so the Bueller code uh, that's going to be around for a while. I take it, correct? Yeah, we that that, that doesn't have any kind of uh, time limitation or limit of number of uses or anything like that. So you can use it multiple times. Uh, you know, every time you come back, uh, you use it over and over again, and uh, just uh, being friendly to the to the whole community here and trying to make everybody happy and get everybody protected all their stuff nicely displayed. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. And real quick, I wanted to double check here. So your payment method is uh, it's Visa, MasterCard. Pretty much any credit card, PayPal. Oh, um, pay PayPal's on there too? PayPal as well. Okay. So uh, yeah, it, it's, uh, it's pretty easy peasy. Uh, you, you know, we try to be, you know, Easy to easy to deal with. <laughs> Very cool. And uh, one last thing on shipping: How fast do you process your orders? So next business day. Um, so if you place your order on a Friday, it's going to go out Monday. Um, unless you place it early on a Friday, then we try to get what we call a double dip in on Friday and get get uh, the the early in the day orders out by the end of Friday. Uh, so, but if you were placing an order on Monday, it's going to go out Tuesday morning. Very cool. Very cool. Well, you know what, Brian? Um, this was fun. I enjoyed talking with you. And uh, I'll, uh, do, you, do you have anything else you want to go over real quick? I think we covered, you know, most of the bases. You know, uh, if you ever want to talk about, uh, you know, uh, all my my great stories about having owned a shop and all the, the horror stories there, and we should we should have like a you know a tales from the crypt a comic shop. <laughs> Telling all the wonderful stories of things that have happened to them throughout the years. I got into a, a long rap session with an, with another store owner the other day. It was uh, it was interesting. That's awesome. it wasn't it wasn't Chris, was it? No, no. But <laughs> for those who are in the area, Chris's comics. I like comics. Chris's yep. shop is uh, what is the evolution of it was my shop that, that I sold it to another gentleman and he sold it to Chris. So that is what became a my my shop. And Chris tells me he says I still get people who come in and say, "Is Brian here today?" <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. I go. That's actually and it's funny you. Um, so I like comics on a, a bunch of my videos when I do my little my 50 cent haul videos the thumbnail on that video is his 50 cent room on the side of the building you know with yeah. all his long boxes full of 50 cent i mean there's literally like 300 boxes of of 50 cent books there and that's actually my thumbnail the backdrop on those videos so just because people ask me where i get those books so that's, that's one of my uh uh picking uh, spots or holes, whatever you want to call it. That's where I go. So the out now the secret's out. Everybody's going to go and, and raid your spot. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Steve says, Steve says, I like comics is a very nice shop. Chris buys from us every week. Yeah. So you can, if you're a local, a uh, local customer, you're looking for max supplies, you can find, find them there in, in the area. <laughs> yep. You can find it there. And also in, uh, in, cause that's up in Vancouver. And then here yep. towards Clackamas and Portland, we have uh comics adventure. Which is another shop, another great shop by Bruce. Adventure, we love Bruce. Uh, I just talked to him this afternoon. Uh, he was asking me some questions about when the Max Light Silvers are coming back in. <laughs> yeah, that, that seems to be the question of the of the week, man. <laughs> uh, we got another super chat by uh, Sheila. Thank you so much. Bueller's show is great. Love you all. Thank you so much, Sheila. She's she's awesome. So very cool. Um, you know what, Brian? I just want to say thank you so much for taking the time out of your day. And I know you got some other stuff going on tonight. Good luck on, uh, I think you're playing some uh, magic some tournaments. Magic gathering. That's right. I took home the trophy for the uh, store championship at my local store here. <laughs> this weekend, so I'm going to go try to whoop up on some people tonight. Yep. Well, that's awesome. Yeah, we're, we're nothing but nerds here, people. I mean, it's, it's, it's a, a nerd here, nerd there, nerd everywhere. So very cool. <laughs> I'm just a super nerd. I see uh, Brian will be chatting soon from a few people and, and uh, Steve says, Brian, nice job. Thanks for covering. Well, I do what I can, Steve. You, you get it next time. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> Very cool. Well, Brian, thank you so much. Like I said, everybody, the link is down below, maxprosupplies.com. Please check them out. Take a look at the website. If you see anything you guys like, go ahead and put it in the cart. Uh, type in that code Bueller, save 10% off, and buy some supplies. And don't, don't forget to tell your local shop about them as well because um, they can find the information. Or Brian will probably provide that for us. And uh, then we can get these products into some local shops. So very cool. Thank you, Brian. Very much appreciated. No, no, thanks for having us on. And uh, well, well, us, I guess Steve, Steve's here in spirit. Well, I mean, actually, he's probably answering more questions than I am. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it looks like somebody's asking if we're going to have more stuff back in stock soon. Yeah, we've got stuff coming. out. It's in the chat there. We've got boards coming. We've got silver mylars coming. Everything is coming down the pike. It's just the Mother Nature has been uh, holding everything back. <laughs> yeah, you know, it, it was it was rough because the Seattle got hit as well, and all the mail from uh, Portland gets funneled through Seattle and then it goes out through the country. So, right. when I was trying to ship out boxes, they would just go there. They were sitting there for like uh, four or five days before they even left Seattle. So, right. hopefully, this 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 uh, weather that we've been dealing with is go in the other direction so you've got uh steve's got to fly out to a trade show this weekend and then he's got to come back and it's supposed to be snowing uh in both the places that his plane has to land so that we'll, we'll keep our fingers crossed for steve <laughs> well steve will have a lot of fun i'm sure he will <laughs> and then I'll, okay. and then he'll come on here and then uh and well, well you'll have to be the one doing the in the chat doing all all the, the he'll have to do all the talking on camera there you go <laughs> yeah, that'll be cool. Well, Brian, thank you so much. And please stick around here for a minute there. I'm just going to say goodbye to everybody here in the chat really quick. I want to say thank you. We had uh, over 110 people watching at one time, and there'll be a lot of people watching on the Rewind. But uh, Chino Comics and more, good luck. Monday, new comic shop from him and uh, in Human X, new comic shop. Very excited to see how that goes. I know it's going to do very well. Uh, Leonardo, the Comic Cats, Andrew. Uh, the legend was in here earlier. All my uh, moderators, John's Comics with Kids, uh, Sam Stangen Webb, Kate Mayer One. Hey, what's up? I think I missed you earlier. And of course, Steve was here as well. I want to say thanks to everyone for coming out tonight. Um, I will be on the Comic Core here in about, uh, looks like a half hour. So if you want to join me over there, I look forward to seeing everybody. Appreciate everyone's time. Like I said, the link's down below from Max Pro Supplies. Don't forget to like, subscribe. You guys know what to do. I'll see you next time.